most of our listeners, um, our, our audience, uh, will probably be 20-somethings and 30-somethings. That uh, tends to be a, uh, an age that a lot, of, uh, a lot of the campus workers are full-time and focused there. Um, you, what you're saying is, hey, let's go into our 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond like I am. I'm just kind of a campus worker wannabe, and you and I are about the same age. But take us back to your 20s when you were first getting started on campus. Uh, do you remember some of the um, early days of when, were, were you just a traveling evangelist or you, were you trying to do campus ministry on a particular campus uh, back when you were getting started? You know, I, I helped start 32 campus churches in about a five year period in the eighties. Mm. So think about that. So that's wild. So, um, so I was, so 60, five years of 60 months. So every other month, I was helping start a campus, basically a campus church. So I would go in and speak for 30 straight days, not just at night, but um, I would go to the football team, the basketball team, the fraternities. Uh, I would stand out on campus and try to be cool, though I was preaching open air, but that was very difficult. I would try to use a microphone because there was campus preachers <laughs> That were notorious. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It just, you know, I just was saying, God, please don't let me do that. Please yeah. don't let me speak yeah. over there. But um, that was a thing back then. So I did as much as I could on a microphone. But um, mm -hmm. you know, in those meetings, I spoke every night for 30 nights because it took that long to get a crowd. And people ask me, how many showed up at your meeting? I said, well, people stayed away in crowds to die. You know? <laughs> <laughs> walk in, I would walk in for, for just night after night, three people, four people. So it kind of was a glorified Bible study and then till it grew. So for anybody that's out there now that you walk into your campus meeting and you have two or three or four or 10 uh, I actually say to people that I, I multiply what goes on on campus by 10 to get a church equivalent, which means if you have 10 students, that to me is the, is the equivalent of having 100 people in a church. Mm -hmm. There's the impact. Yeah. Because what you can do is you can minimize your work. You can think, oh, I only got five students or 10 students. Look, it was like the impact of a few people. If there's any story I have, is it is it there's these genesis points of five to 10 people hmm. that became leader, became a genesis of a campus movement, not just globally, like we are fortunate enough to be a part of, but to, to really see the power of a few. Mm -hmm. And so for anybody listening out there to think, oh, you know, because when somebody gets up and starts giving numbers and this, that, this, that, and the other, you just get discouraged and think, man, I'm, what am I doing? But don't listen to this day. When I go into a campus or to a church, think about churches. 90% uh, of churches in America are under 200. So if you have a church of 200 people, you're in the top 10%. So mm -hmm. many times people see big mega churches and think I'm not doing anything. No, no, you have to value the disciples that you have because these disciples and leaders will grow up and scatter like all of you guys have seen in girls you've seen the yeah, that's why you're still doing it it's because you've yeah. seen the fruit so anyway i just i just say that um that 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 if there's anything that i could say about my 20s was that it was laboring long and hard you know by the grace of god and mm -hmm. the power of reaching a few yep and old enough now to see how that does grow up to become something greater than you've ever imagined, if you'll just wow. stick with it. Yeah, I, um, I, I've gotten to a point where I'm not overly impressed with crowds or, or overly depressed with just a few. Um, mm -hmm. That sometimes the few are much more uh, powerful and ultimately more effective than, than the crowd. <laughs>